Hey there, long time no see. The porters are back, and we have plenty to share. Welcome back to Porter Productions. To start off, I think it's time we clarified a few things. Hi, <laughs> I'm the guy who's usually behind the camera. So yeah, but enough about me. We've been quite busy, but we've done some interesting stuff in the last several months. Only thing is, we've never really found the time to upload anything. I personally still keep busy, but I now have new ways of putting content together. You're watching this video right now through the lens of a Canon M50, for example. Let's get on with the Porter's old iron vlog. Let's back up to August 23rd, 2022. We'd recently got the International Straight Truck home. Even as a parts truck, it would still look better clean. And that's what we did. Making some headway on the 87. What do you charge per hour, boy? Uh, 40 bucks. <laughs> this is truck detailing. Not the same as car detailing. This is truck detailing. Fast forward a month, we travel northeast to check out a recent purchase of ours. This here is an early 1970s tag trailer, originally belonging to the Illinois Central Railroad. It was to our belief that the trailer is younger than 1972, as it displays the previous name before their 1972 merger, becoming the Illinois Central Gulf. Alright, we're here at the trailer. The kingpin is uh, 29 inches from the front. Roughly just under, I think. But um, the driver side of the trailer is um, 33. The passenger side of the trailer is 31 from the ground. We can get in and uh, get around. We can pull up in here. The well, actually right now the grass is ground is not. Too wet at all, a little bumpy, but uh, there's good clearance. So we could pull up in here, come along the side if need be, or come up along the side of the trailer and go head right up in there. Whoever was in here left the goodies. So, uh, after the crew stole all the tires and wheels, which I was wanting. Um, whoever came in here, I thought the looks like a Chevy pickup or something. But anyway, um, they broke the door. One hinge broken, the other one right there, which I call the, oh golly gee, there's four hinges on five on that thing five there's one two three four and five but uh anyway we might have to bring out some boards and some bolts and, and uh see if we can get that door to close then right there number four looks like it's about ready to go through all the way so the door that had to be reskinned and everything else a week or two later we're back to work with the cab over international along with another project of ours two years ago we began work on the cab over in the attempt to get it running but to no avail this month however marked a new milestone
you hear that turbo spool up? Whoa! All I can say is, man, we are having fun. You know, out of all the aggravation, Florida dude's got to have a little bit of fun. Got in the door of the Rio. <laughs> they got big bucket seats in there. That's a little cab. My muscle man. Told you I wasn't no light captain seat. Wee hoo! See how he kind of did a raise and lower or raise and drop. So. First has been online. Yep. No headliner. It's been gone for quite a while. But look at that big, gorgeous steering wheel. Can you imagine a little six-year-old sitting on a go-kart seat underneath that wheel, trying to steer that big wheel, wheel that's bigger than the, the boy? Well, <laughs> I can tell you firsthand, that's what I did. I drove that baby. Everything's pretty simple and straightforward, although in this truck it's 6 volt. It's going to be 12 volt. All right, Joel. Here we go. He's tall, tall in the saddle. <laughs> He's a leaning over. He's high and mighty. Drag racer. Oh. 454 power, buddy. Hey guys, it's me again here to take a quick break from the episode. So I'm a filmmaker of several years, so I've been making short films here and there. And this summer I'm looking to make a much larger project revolving around trucking. So that means we're looking for both actors, we're looking for people who own trucks and equipment, and people who would be willing to drive. So if you think you'd be interested in helping us out, stay tuned to the next episode. We're based out of Central Ohio, and again, this is happening sometime during this summer. More information to the next video. But back to this video. Next up is a really strange occurrence that happened to us while we were working on the Rio. We were backing it up, as you can see, but right at dusk, there were two or three guys that approached us from our backyard, asking us if we had seen any horses. Now down the road, we have neighbors who own a clump of horses, but they all accidentally got out. But yeah, they ended up down our road. You know, they had to clutter them back in the dark, but it made, even in the dark, it made for quite the sight for the whole neighborhood and everybody was out watching from their doorstep. So yeah, that was quite the interesting occurrence. That's why he's kind of hanging behind, I think. Attended, I mean, as far as our house. Usually they got people down there, but. Well, good one, guys. Yeah, the one she's heard.
October 13th. Simply put, we both agreed that it was time to begin putting together a real model layout. As you can see, we're taking a several decade old table that is partially torn up, but still good. A lot has happened since the summer, and this video only serves as a small taste as to what's to come in the future. My name is Joel Porter, and thanks for tuning in to the Old Iron Vlog.